what's up guys good beautiful morning and welcome back to vlogmas day number eight so today i have us starting off in the bathroom because we are talking favorites of 2020 so this year is almost over good riddance but i want to talk to you guys about what my favorite products were or things that i've used or discovered over the course of the past year i don't know about you guys but these favorites videos are definitely one of my favorites, no pun intended, to film and to watch because I've discovered some ride or die products because of watching other people's favorites videos or empties videos or grocery hauls for that matter because they're actually buying the product. So they're sharing with you how much they really love it and why they spent their money on it and why they continue to buy it. So it's just a real life honest review. So I'm going to take you down to the counter in my bathroom. We're going to go over all of like the household products that I've used, all of the candles and like good yummy smelly stuff and then also also as well like all of the personal care items and beauty care items that I've used and either love and will repurchase again or didn't and will not. So I hope you guys are ready. Grab yourself a drink and a snack and let's talk product review. All right, you guys, so here is just a quick overview of my favorites or my not so favorites that I've used over the last half of 2020. And I have a variety here of healthcare products, beauty products, personal care items, and then we'll go into the candles and then we'll go into the house care like cleaning products. So I'll start with you guys over here. So this is the Pure Dior, P-U-R-A, D, apostrophe, O-R. So it says www.puredor.com. And I received this as a gift off of an Amazon gifting group. I haven't had too much time to participate in it lately, but this is one of the things that one of the ladies sent to me. And this is a giant container of hair mask. And so I was really excited about using this. If you guys follow me, you know, that I love my hair masks, especially with the water here and what it does to my hair. And so I'll open the container so you guys can see inside because there's like a little bit of a residue for you to see what's in there. But I was, I don't know, I thought the quality of the, you can just see there's a little bit of like water and hair mask still in there. Now, I thought with the bamboo container, I don't know, I was very attracted to the packaging and I thought this is gonna be amazing and I can't wait to see what it does to my hair. And it just wasn't anything spectacular. Nothing works as good as those Hask products. Those Hask leave-in conditioners, the hair masks, they're all just so, so good and they just work really, really well for my hair. So I had very high expectations for this, but for me, it didn't really work. I think I will stick to my Hask products. So next up is a Super Fiber Plus Fruit in the Lemon Lime flavor. I even saved the little card to share with you guys. And this is by a company called Bellway. So first, let me start off by thanking Bellway for sponsoring today's video. And of course, to you guys for being so supportive when I share sponsored content. Now, one of the things that I absolutely loved about them is when they reached out to me and asked if they could do a sponsorship with me, I let them know that I have to try the products before I make any kind of agreement because I will not share anything with you guys that I do not believe wholeheartedly and firmly about. And they said, sure, no problem. And so I've been using this for about three weeks now and I've really started to see a difference in the past week and a half. Slow changes in the first week, but now that I'm into week three, I've seen dramatic results. Now, if you guys were not with me a couple of months back, I spent an uh, afternoon in the ER with headaches I had been suffering from for a month. And I had a sinus infection that led to other infections in my body, which just kind of led me down the path of how neglectful I am to my body. So one of the things that they spoke to me about was hydration. And so I have a bottle right here. I take this bottle with me everywhere and I fill this bottle 
twice a day. So in the morning, when I fill this, I put in my super fiber. And then in the afternoon, when I fill this, I put in a liquid IV. This way I'm covering hydration and then I'm covering the fiber department. Now this stuff, you guys, works for so many different things. I don't wanna be inappropriate with you, but what I feel like this truly has helped me for is regulating my tummy issues. I seriously could go to the bathroom like 10 times a day and it's not something I would normally share out in the open, but it's true and it's a really uncomfortable feeling because sometimes it debilitates me on I can't stay out too long because I need to use the bathroom or whatever. And so the symptoms that it helps to regulate their body is this says it keeps you from feeling hungry. It can regulate high blood sugar. And then here's where it was helping me from going too much or it can also help you with constipation it can help with loose stool it can help with bloating that really really heavy feeling if you are someone who suffers from diarrhea someone who suffers from hemorrhoids which ever since i had jacob has always been something that i suffer from as well and then it can also help regulate high cholesterol or even going too little so the whole point of this is to pretty much give you coverage in that tummy department and with the holidays coming I feel like we feel that heavy feeling or like that just bogged down feeling that you have after eating all of those sweets all of the cookies all of the Thanksgiving dinners and the Christmas dinners and all of those things like I feel like those really bog down your body and I have seen such a tremendous difference after using this product. I would highly recommend it. Now, it doesn't just come in these flavors or this kind of container. So this kind of container has a little scoop that you scoop into your water, and then it also has these little packets, like, you know, the individual just pour into the water bottle packets and those are obviously more convenient but I like this since I like to fill my big tub. Now the only thing that I will suggest is that if you leave it for too long it will thicken. So you're supposed to put one to two rounded scoops of this fiber powder into an empty glass and then you add the eight ounces of cool water and then you're supposed to drink it as fast as possible. Um, like I said they say that it you know, will cause it to get thick, which it will if you put it in just eight ounces of water. I don't see that because I'm putting it in this giant container with still those one to two rounded scoops. Now you can take those one to two rounded scoops two to three times a day. So if you feel like it's truly helping you, then you can obviously take it more often. And it says right here, it's good for a happy gut, for smooth moves, for less bloating, for clear skin and healthier hair, improved heart health, and to feel fuller. And even right here, it says here's what to expect. After two days, relief from digestive discomfort, fewer cravings between meals, improved poop consistency, and then after one week, it'll say regular healthy bowel movements, improved mood and energy, clearer skin, and healthier hair. And then after a month, which is almost where I'm at right now, it says a lower risk of GI issues and conditions, improved cholesterol levels, and healthier weight management. So, I mean, right Right there alone, you guys know that I'm really feeling down on myself for putting all that weight back on. So I'm really excited to see how this helps if I can continue to use this on a regular basis. I'm just all about the idea of a happy gut and regulating myself like that. Now, if the lemon lime doesn't tickle your fancy, they also have a mixed berry and then they have a raspberry lemon. I almost got the raspberry lemon, but I decided to go with the lemon lime just because I put lemons and limes in my water. So I just thought that that would mix well and it wouldn't be something that I would end up tasting because I'm weird about that kind of stuff. And so um, I didn't get the mixed berry, but I almost got the raspberry lemon and then 
I ended up going with the lemon lime. But then they also have, see how this says super fiber and fruit? They also have one that's a super fiber and collagen, which is what I think I'm gonna get next time. And they have that in a strawberry lemonade or a matcha lemon. But the strawberry lemonade sounds delish, something I would absolutely love. And so that's definitely on my radar for next time. But I'll make sure to leave all of Bellway's information in the description box for you guys so you can go over and check them out. If not a gift for the holiday season, definitely a gift for yourself because like I said, I have seen pure improvement in my body and I see myself continuing to use this for a super long time. So next up is a body spray by Bath & Body Works. I absolutely love Bath & Body Works for their candles and their wallflowers and then their body sprays. That's pretty much it. I do not like the way their lotions feel and I do not like the way their body wash feels. But when I get out of the shower and my skin is still wet, I completely douse myself with a body spray and I feel like it sticks to my skin really well and I love all the different scents and I absolutely love A Thousand Wishes. Right now, I think think I'm using here at this house. I just opened a winter candy apple and then I'm using at the old house a champagne toast. So right now I have a bunch of bottles started but I absolutely love Bath and Body Works for their body sprays. Definitely one of my favorite purchases from there. So this stuff is called Topic and these are hair building fibers. I did an entire video on how I use these hair building fibers to kind of fill in where my hair is lacking on my scalp. But when I did the video, I shared with you guys this one and then I'm currently using this one right now. So this is Crown Fibers and these ones are a heck of a lot cheaper. They're like $25 for this container as opposed to the Topic is about $50. But this bottle, you guys, lasted me over two years and I like the topic better. So if I'm gonna purchase them again, when I'm done with this crown fibers, I'm gonna go back to using this. Again, even though it's pricey, it's so much better than the crown fibers. Now there are other brands out there, but this stuff is just amazing and it actually looks like hair that you, a guy shaved off of his face. It's just little tiny hairs and you sprinkle them on top of your head and it just kind of gives that full hair look. So I'll link that video up above if you guys want to go ahead and check it out. But I swear by it. I'm on camera all the time. I hate how thin my hair looks on the top. And so this just makes me feel a lot better. And again, I like the topic versus the crown. So I'm a huge Mary Kay lover. You're going to see that in just a minute when you see the cover up that I finished. And this is their eye makeup remover. And I love this stuff, even though I love my Neutrogena makeup wipes. I feel like this stuff does the best for taking off the waterproof mascara. So I usually use this on my eyes first and then I go back with that Neutrogena face wipe and take the rest of my makeup off like the foundation and all of that stuff. But this stuff works amazing. I squirt a little squirt on a cotton ball and use this for my eyes and I absolutely love it. I think this bottle is like, $18 or something, but it literally lasts me the entire year. I don't wear makeup every day, but it only takes a little squirt on a cotton ball to get off your eye makeup. So I highly recommend this stuff. I absolutely love it. So something I did not love and don't recommend at all is this EOS Evolution of Smooth and it's a Shea Butter Shave Cream. So being that EOS is so popular with the lip gloss and I love their lip glosses, I thought the shave cream was gonna be amazing. And this is in the Pomegranate Raspberry. Again, I received this off of that Amazon gifting group, so I didn't pay for it. it makes me feel a little bit better but it was legitimately garbage. Like it's not thick at all and it just goes on your skin and then if your skin is wet, it just kind of dissolves. Like I don't feel like it did a good job of making my skin soft and like supple as I was shaving so that it eliminated any kind of nicks and cuts. Again, I am a ride or die for the Edge Shave Gel. Now look, I just went and took this straight from the shower to share with you guys. There's no 
better shave gel than this. It's the Edge. I like the orange cap one because it's good for sensitive skin. So if you do happen to nick yourself or you're doing your bikini line or something, it doesn't irritate you in any of those spots. But this, you guys, I love and recommend that EOS shave cream. Not so much. But if you're looking for a good face wash, this I do recommend. And this is by Soap and Glory, and it is a vitamin C facial wash. And it smells so amazing. I don't know if you can see it. You can see. You see right there where there's all little pink dots that are sticking to the bottle. That's all these little vitamin C capsules that was inside of this face wash. And it is so revitalizing. If you use this in the morning to wash your face or if you shower in the morning, I wash my face in the shower. So when I shower in the morning and I wash my face, I may use this. It is just, it wakes you up in the morning. It smells amazing and it cleans your face so, so good. It is a great for sensitive skin because it's so light and it's not full of chemicals or anything. If you have not tried anything by Soap and Glory, they have great products, but out of everything, this vitamin C facial wash is the absolute best. Now I have one shampoo and conditioner set and then I have a shampoo here to show you. The conditioner is empty in my kid's shower but at the old house, but they like to play with the empty bottle to fill it with water and like squirt it. So I haven't snagged the conditioner one of this Love Beauty and Planet yet out of the tub, but I can review it for you just from washing their hair. But the whole blends is what I've been using. Right now I have shampoo and conditioner started in this house. I have shampoo conditioner started in the old house and I do not wash my hair more than twice a week. So it does take me quite some time to go through shampoo and and conditioner so this is the only ones that I have for you but it's the Garnier whole blends which I really do like all of their products a lot of this stuff I got free or super super cheap from couponing and I still have a ton of them this is the coconut water and vanilla milk this is not my favorite one my favorite one's the brown one I think it's still a coconut milk but it's not this particular one like this is a coconut water with vanilla milk I think that one is a coconut milk I'm not really sure. I'll have to look it up for you guys, but that is my favorite whole blends, but I love Garnier in general. I love their Fructis line. I love the whole blends line, but this line is completely all natural. This particular shampoo and conditioner says it quenches and softens. And of course, anything that Garnier says it does, it usually does. So I absolutely love this shampoo and conditioner. I never really was too particular about the scent. Like I said, the brown one's my favorite, but any one of these will do. So if you have not tried Garnier Whole Blends, I would highly recommend them. And CVS runs amazing couponing deals for these. So definitely keep a lookout for that. Now, like I said, I don't have the conditioner for this Love Beauty and Planet, but this is the shampoo and this says Maru Maru Butter. M-U-R-U-M-U-R-U. -U -U -U. Okay. Well, it's that butter and rose, but all you smell is rose. So that's not really my scent. I don't know if I would have been able to tolerate if I was washing my hair with this myself, but Maya seemed to really like it and Mason didn't mind it. So I went ahead and used the entire shampoo and conditioner for them. But this one says that it's for vibrancy, for color, treated hair, and acts of love for our planet. So obviously my kids do not have color treated hair, but again, it wasn't something I was going to use on myself solely for the scent. So I used it on them, but it worked great. Maya has very nappy curly hair and it worked great for her hair. I really love a lot of the Love Beauty and Planet products. They're another one of those lines that are all natural and I love them. This is not, like I said, my favorite scent, but Love Beauty and Planet is definitely a highly recommended company in my opinion. So speaking of a Garnier Whole Blends, this was another thing I got off of that Amazon gifting group. And this is a gentle detangling milk oak 
delicacy leave-in conditioner or like a detangling spray and I use this on Maya as well as myself like whenever our hair is wet out of the shower we would just put a couple of spritzes of this in before we went ahead and brushed our hair and it works so so good it says lightly conditions and softens fine to a normal hair but neither one of Maya or I have fine or normal hair and it works great for both of us so I definitely would recommend this again same thing it's the Garnier whole blends so it's all natural but I absolutely love this product really any like I said Garnier product so I recommend that and then this was a dry shampoo from a kit that I got from Target like super long ago I had so many dry shampoos that I've been working through and this is the Dove Refresh and Care Fresh Coconut Dry Shampoo so this was actually surprisingly good I'm using an herbal essence one right now that I do not like at all and the Batiste is still my absolute favorite but this was actually not bad it didn't leave that white residue in my hair which I absolutely hate and it smelled really good so you guys know me I love my coconut and so this just revives my hair with something really good smelling so I definitely recommend the Dove I usually don't recommend Dove but this was pretty good this particular one I really enjoyed it all right, so now we're on to some body washes, and this is the Method Body Coconut Rice Milk and Shea Butter in the Simply Nourish. Now, I've used a Method body wash before, and I was not impressed at all and I said that I wouldn't get the method body wash again now I love method products especially all of their cleaning products so I was really excited to try that first one and I was not a fan this one came free once through Grove for me purchasing like a certain amount of stuff and so they gave me this method body wash for free and this is a big container this is 18 fluid ounces so you guys know how I feel about Grove my link is always in the description box if you want to check them out but I was excited to give this a try because it was for free and this was really good this one was really good it lathered so well it smelled really good I felt clean afterwards I use body wash on a loofah and so like I said it lathered perfectly and I got tons out of like a little tiny dime size worth because of that it lasted so so long so I definitely recommend if not the method body wash at least the coconut and rice milk with shea butter because this one was amazing. So now I have a Dove's Men Care body and face wash in the Extra Fresh. These Dove Men Cares are surprisingly really, really good. My husband use, has one that he was using in the shower as well as he's used a couple of their bar soaps and he has really, really enjoyed it. Daryl is really one for Oil of Olay. He is such a nerd when it comes to his soap. He just likes his oil of LA. He likes the ultra moisturizing bar soap. He's very, very particular. But he said the Dove Men Care was really, really good. And he was surprised that he actually liked the body wash because he's not one for that. So definitely kudos to Dove Men's Care. They did a really good job. So now we're on to two different Axe body washes. One was the Apollo, which is sage and cedarwood scent, and then the black, which is frozen pear and cedarwood scent. I'm not really one for the sage. I mean, it was okay, but it was a very powerful. The cedar wood is very powerful in the Axe line. And so anything that really goes with it needs to be super super strong to even come out in scent and the sage just to me was not a good compliment the frozen pear with the cedar wood was really really good even mason asked for this kind of body wash he wanted like a big boy's body wash for christmas and he used the black one and that's what made him ask for that because he said he felt like a real man when he got out of the shower but we are big about axe in this house as far as all the men in the house they absolutely love it so we love axe we vote for axe but in my opinion black smelled way better than the apollo I am baffled by the amount of hand soap that we go through why this is the only hand soap that I have in my bin like I have an overflowing amount of bins of empties and I do not know how when I went through that this is the only amount of soap that was in there don't ask me 
I can't tell you what happens to certain things after my kids get a hand on them, but I'm about to talk a little negative about Grove. Can you believe that? Because I never ever do, but this is their Grove Citrus Castile Soap. So this is their brand and I did not like this. Now I've never used Castile soap before, so maybe it's supposed to be like this. This doesn't say hand soap and it doesn't have a pump top or anything. It just has like a regular squeeze soap. So maybe I wasn't supposed to use it as hand soap, but this was one, another one of those things that I got free. So it says it's made with organic coconut and olive oils. So I assume that that would be really good for your hands. And I just automatically assumed that this is hand soap. Maybe it's not, but it's super, super thin. So when I poured it into my hands, it was just, it didn't lather really well. And I didn't feel like it did a really good job getting my hands clean. Maybe it's supposed to to be like that I'm not sure again I've not ever used Castile soap before you guys tell me but I wasn't a huge fan of this so I would not purchase this myself and I'm really one for like the Mrs. Myers the method hand soaps this was a one that I got free from couponing a while while back it's by soft soap it's the wild basil and lime and I am obsessed with using things in rotation so sometimes I have things that I don't use for a while because I have to put it to the back of the line and use the things that come up first so this scent was really good. I'm not usually one for basil scents like that, but it mixed really well with the lime and it smelled really, really good. I'm not a huge fan of soft soap, but this in my opinion was really good. I think this is a special line of theirs, like a new upgraded line, but I was very impressed with this to be honest. But this dial, I don't know what happened to you guys dial, like used to be the top of the line, one of the best products to have. I remember when I was 18 and I first got my belly button ring, the only thing you were supposed to clean your belly button piercing with was dial soap. That's it, dial, dial, dial. I don't know, I don't feel like this is the same formula that it used to be. It says it's hydrating hand soap. It didn't really lather that well. The Himalayan salt it didn't smell very good. I don't know. Sorry, Dial, but you're definitely not in my radar anymore for hand soap. So speaking of that bar soap, here is that Dove Men Care Extra Fresh. This is the container that the bar soap came in, but I already told you guys that he really, really liked the bar soap as well as the body wash. So he says he would recommend that. And then here is a toothpaste box because it's the one that I'm currently using right now. This is the Crest 3D White. I just love the way that Crest tastes. So this is the one that I'm using right now at the house, at the old house, okay? And this is the one that I just finished. This is the Crest Complete with Scope, which I really love that because I really feel like the Scope lasts a long time, like it keeps your breath super fresh and it works really good on my teeth. So I like this one. And then like I said, I replaced it with this one, which I also really love because I love Crest. At the new house right here, I'm using a Colgate and I absolutely hate it. Like I do not like Colgate toothpaste. I don't know why. I'm going to use it and I'm going to finish it because I won't waste it, but I don't like the way that it tastes and I don't like the way that it feels on my teeth. I don't know. I'm not a huge Colgate fan. I love Crest all the way. You guys let me know, but Daryl likes the Colgate Optic White. Not me. I just can't do it. I'm a woman and I use a lot of men's products. And one of my favorite men's products to use is the Gillette Fusion 5 Pro Shield Razor. I just love this razor. And I feel like a lot of razors, a lot of products are meant to cater to men. I say the same thing about deodorant. I feel like the only thing that ever really works for me is men's deodorant. And I feel the same way about the shave products. That Edge Gel is a man's shaving gel. And this is a man's razor. But they expect a man to put this on his face and they make it so much more gentle than women who they expect to just shave under their armpits or their legs. So I love the way this works. It glides. It's amazing. And I don't feel like I ever get cut with this. The blades last forever, like once a month. The They could be a little pricey, like at Costco or um, Sam's Club or something like that where you pay like 40 bucks for a huge pack of them but you pay 40 bucks and then they last forever 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 so 
I really suggest this if you guys are looking for a new razor or something for my women out there. Trust me, try a men's razor, you'll never go back. So this is what I finished using and this is what I'm using right now. So this is the Mary Kay Time Wise Matte Wear Liquid Foundation and I use the beige number five. I love Mary Kay's foundation. It's my absolute favorite foundation and I need to check my makeup stash to see if I have any more. I didn't dive into that because when I finished this one, I had picked up this from the Dollar Tree and everybody was saying how amazing the Wet n Wild Mega Cushion Foundation is. Now, I don't know if it's because I got a color that's a little dark for me. I got the Honey Beige, but... It's just, I don't know, I don't like the coverage on it. I'm not a huge fan. I don't like the little applicator sponge that it comes with. I've been using my own beauty blenders and still dabbing on it. And it's a liquid foundation, but in a compact. And I don't know, I'm just, I'm not a huge fan of this. Again, I'll finish it, but I keep trying to squeeze out every last little dollop out of this. Like I'm about to cut it open and use my beauty blender on the inside because nothing seems to work as good as this. This, you guys tell me, I don't know, I wasn't really a fan. All right, got some stuff here for my kiddos. So Mason wanted me to show you this. He just opened up a new toothbrush at the new house so that they could brush their teeth here. And this is a Colgate Ryan's World toothbrush. But Mason said the bristles are really soft and you know, he just lost his two front teeth and he has a few other that are loose. So his gums are super sensitive. And he said that he really, really liked this toothbrush. So if you're looking for a stocking stuffer for your kiddo, um, the Colgate, super soft or extra soft toothbrushes come highly recommended by my middle kid and then his favorite thing right now is the staying toothpaste he loves the hello watermelon flavor and i'm excited about this because i got this at grove i was trying to switch up their tom strawberry toothpaste they've been using forever and they really liked it and so now i'm going to keep buying this for them because they really enjoy it i had another one that i just got for my last grove haul that i was going to put in mason's stocking and i had to give it to him because like I said, he needed to brush his teeth while we were here and we didn't have any toothpaste. So uh, here are some bath bomb stuff I managed to grab because they put their own bath bombs in the tub. So I don't always get to grab like the packages, but these are ones that I found. Maya really liked this one. This one I got from Target. It's the Bubble Bomb Shell and it's a scented bath burst and it was scented in pineapple. It was a 3.5 ounce bath bomb you can see it fit in that hole so it was pretty big but Maya and Mason said that that one was awesome and then these ones they didn't really do the greatest of jobs but of course they're Bolero and they came from the Dollar Tree so I never have huge expectations for them but for three bath bombs for a dollar sometimes I just pick them up so when the kids want to do a bath bomb, then they have this. And so this was the Tropical Escape Mango and Passion Fruit. It kind of filled the air with a little bit of scent, but it didn't do a whole lot in the water. And my kids love the whole big, you know, fizz, hurrah kind of thing. All right, this is something else I got from the Dollar Tree. And this is the Shower Conditioning Brush. And it's by Remington is the name, which is a very, very popular hair brand. And I actually have this. Let me grab it for you to share with you. All right, don't laugh because my hair is in it. But you open this up and you load. All right, well, I can't get the top off right now because it's slippery from being in the shower with me and having conditioner on it. But you open up this rubber top and you load your conditioner in here. And then you push this little button and it squeezes the conditioner out of those holes and then it'll be on the surface of this and then you use this to brush your hair so that you brush the conditioner through your hair and this works amazing for Maya. I've used it too, but Maya, her hair is so curly and so tangly that having this works amazing for her. So I just load the conditioner for her in there, I give it a couple of squeezes and then I brush her hair out with it and it makes getting out of the tub amazing. One little spritz of detangling spray and her hair just glides like butter. So if you see these, I would recommend them. Like I said, I got this from the Dollar Tree I don't know if the Dollar Tree has them anymore or if you could get this on Amazon or something. I'll look and link it. I usually link any of the products that I possibly can that I've used in my Amazon store if you guys want to go ahead and check it out. But I'll try and find this. But this was a really, really awesome, you guys. 
Okay, you guys, so now here is the candle portion or the smelly stuff portion of this favorites video. So I have some tall candles back there. I have some smaller like Dollar Tree candles right here. And then I have a bunch of wallflowers that we're going to review. So I think I'm gonna start with the Dollar Tree ones first because I have a wide variety of them and some of them are worth talking about and some aren't. So one of the ones I was really excited about was the old Williamsburg Lemon Drop. It did smell really good. It just didn't have a really large throw. Usually old Williamsburg covers more surface area than this one did, but the smell itself smelled good. So if you have a small space, I would recommend the Lemon Drop. But this birthday cake line just disappointed me. And I think I have one of every scent just because I wanted to try them because they are old Williamsburg. And for a dollar, I don't think it's a bad candle, but this salted caramel was just not good. I mean, I wanted it to smell like the coffee candle and it did, again, just not a very large throw. So this one would be good for a small area. You're going to get like that original coffee scent kind of scent because that's what it smells like on cold sniff and that's what it smells on burn. It just, it really depends on the kind of area you're trying to scent. So I think this would be good for a bathroom or something like that, a small apartment kitchen, but otherwise the throw was not very good. And this birthday one, which is birthday cake, it had no scent at all. At least the salted caramel smelt good. It just didn't go far. This had nothing. And on cold sniff, it smells very, you know, cakey, vanilla, sugar. Yeah, no, nothing else further that carried. So this is definitely not a favorite of mine. I would toss that one in the trash. Now the spiced pumpkin was good and this one had a pretty decent throw and I love that scent of spiced pumpkin. So for Old Williamsburg, this one went pretty far. I remember walking into my kitchen. Most of these burn at my stove at the rental house. So that's where I burnt all of these, which for those of you who follow me, maybe you can kind of get a mental picture of the space that I'm trying to fill scent wise. So you would know, hey, if that one covers that area then it would cover this area in my home and the spice pumpkin really did cover the kitchen so this one i said was really really good but this one was a bust this is the mimosa frappe and this one i wanted to have that really orange citrusy scent and i burned this like in the very beginning of the fall just kind of ending summer beginning fall like that blood orange kind of feel and i thought i was gonna like it and it just this one didn't really again on cold sniff smelled really good but on the burn not so much and covered no surface area this one covered mild surface area. This one is luminescence, which this completely blows my mind that there was any kind of luminescence candle that I would ever talk about with you that I would say smells good. But this one was called Harvest and Hay Rides. And this one smelled great on cold sniff, which is why I bought it. And then it burned wonderful, like very, very clean on the inside. And it smelled amazing and it really filled my kitchen space. So I was very surprised. Luminescence definitely surprised me on this one for a dollar. Like you just can't beat the way some of these candles burn. I mean, even though this one didn't smell good, you practically could reuse the jar right now. Now these little mason jars, I repurpose them all of the time. My pantry is full of them. All of the spice blends that I make usually fit into something like this. I typically use it for things like spice jars. If I make a cinnamon and sugar mix or something, it'll go in this. If I bake with some kind of nuts or chocolate chips and I have a little left, it'll go in something like this. So for the dollar to burn that well, to have a decent smelling candle and to be able to repurpose the jar is why I always purchase these. Now the caramel drizzle, that one was to die for. It smelled so good. This is old Williamsburg as well. It smelled great on cold sniff. It smelled amazing burning. It covered a ton 
of surface area, you could walk in my front door and smell that candle in the room, which to me blows my mind for a little candle like this. It burns clean. That's always a thing for me when it's a whiter candle. You can tell how well it burns by whether or not it starts to turn that color candle into soot, and this does not. So I was very impressed with the caramel drizzle. We'll bounce over here real quick just because it's in my peripheral. Speaking of one that was white and burned clean, look at that, you guys. There's almost nothing left of this candle. That's getting your money's worth. And this is one from Grove. So this is the spiced caramel one that I got when I did my fall haul from Grove and I got like the copper stuff. It smelled so good when I got it and I couldn't believe how much the scent filled my bedroom un burned like just sitting out on the thing it just smelled my whole bedroom smelled and so i ended up lighting this in my bathroom and like carrying it back and forth between my bathroom and my bedroom for like ambiance and scent and it was incredible you guys it was well worth the money i think these candles run about 15 dollars which you know can be pricey when you can get a larger candle from Bath & Body Works for eight during the sale, but these are soy, and that makes a huge difference when you're burning candles because these ones just burn so much cleaner and better for the environment, and very little soot. It's not putting that kind of smoke and stuff into the air that you're breathing, and this is a pretty big candle. It's seven ounces, so I really liked this one, and I think Grove still has this available. Now, it's hard for me to say because anytime I send you guys to Grove you come back and tell me that they're sold out and they don't have it anymore but my link for Grove is in the description box and you get a whole welcome package for free and you can throw this in your car and pay for just this and get all that other stuff for free so I recommend that and I loved this scent or you could just pay a dollar and get any of the coffee candles from Old Williamsburg from the Dollar Tree and have it be the best candle of your life. And this is the Chocolate Mocha. This is one of the newer coffee lines that Old Williamsburg put out. You can tell it has a little like sip cup as if this was a coffee mug. It's not the original, but this is their second line that they came out with. The first one is the best. Nothing really beats that. I don't think they'll ever top a candle better than that. But this one smells like a coffee shop. It's like walking into Starbucks or Dunkin' Donuts. The throw would fill a 3,000 square foot house. I know because I had one and it did in no time flat. So I know that these are really, really good. And again, this is the kind of one you can't beat for a dollar. But this one was such a disappointment and I hate that I wanted these blue lines to be so good. They have a whole line of these. I think I have, this says number two. I have one through six, and I have burned three out of the six so far, and none of them have been good. And it just breaks my heart because they all smell good on cold sniff, and I like the message that it's sending with the numbers one through six. It was all very spiritual messages, and I really liked that, so I was like, oh, maybe I'll just save the bottles and repurpose them and reuse them, but I wanted them to smell good and they didn't and they had no throw they burned really clean i mean there's nothing left in there so the burn was good but no scent whatsoever so i don't know if it was worth just the blue little jar for the dollar i would just wish i had a little bit more something to hold on to scent wise so i i'm not expecting a lot more out of the other three that i have but this one, this one was really neat because I showed in my Dollar Tree haul that if you peel, someone told me to do this and I didn't know, if you peel back the sticker, you can see that this was a $3 candle from the dollar spot at Target. So they didn't sell and they got sent to the Dollar Tree, which just goes to show you that you can still get quality stuff at the DT. And this is Flashpoint Candle Brand, and this is the Maui Melon. You can see there's wax all over the top because Paul knocked it over while it was burning and got wax everywhere. But this one burned ridiculously clean and had a really great melon scent, just very little throw. So 
I'm sure that's why they ended up at the Dollar Tree because they probably weren't too successful in Target. But the jars are super cute and there was four different ones. I haven't burned the other three yet, but I have them. And so if I really want to, just for the jars alone, you could really use that. Even if you want to re-gift them, like fill them with things, like honey that you make yourself or, you know, applesauce or something you make yourself and you give it to a friend or syrup or something like my family up north has their own syrup company like that would be really cool if you did a basket for a friend with like breakfast items and you put syrup in this jar and you know stuck it in there so there's definitely uses for the jar but it ended up at the dollar tree because it wasn't a good candle all right let's finish with the candles and then we'll dive into those wallflowers but these two candles were absolutely amazing both of these are Bath and Body Works. They're three wick candles. And this was the first time that I've had either one of these. So this was a strawberry pound cake. And I believe I got this at the candle sale last year. I did it online last year. And this was fresh strawberries, a golden shortcake, whipped cream with essential oils. And you could smell each one of those things. The strawberries were so sweet, but yet you could smell that like fresh cake baking and then the sweetness of the whipped cream. I think Bath and Body Works really nailed the notes on this one. And the packaging is cute, but the scent was just so so good i love those kind right now i have a blueberry shortcake or something like that burning at the rental i think it's like blueberry sweetened sugar donut or something like that the blueberry and the sugar and the cake when you would go up the stairs i couldn't believe it like daryl and i were going up the stairs he's like wow it smells really good in here i'm like yeah it's that blueberry candle that's downstairs like it's just wafting up the stairs and it smells so good so bath and body works does a really good job of kind of nailing the fruit with the cake i, I don't know they do a good job with that so uh, i loved that one and you can tell that i love food scents because this is chocolate lava cake it was my first time ever trying this one and this one says on the notes scrumptious chocolate cake gooey cocoa center powdered sugar dusting with essential oils and this one burned pretty clean for a white candle a little bit of soot residue in there but holy cow when i tell you chocolate cake it's like you're baking a chocolate cake you can smell cupcakes in the oven but with already frosted dusted with sugar i mean they do such a good job of nailing each individual note that you just know what's in there now this was another like whitish candle i think this one was yeah pink on the inside but look at that no soot no residue and all the way to the bottom i mean that's getting your money's worth for a bath and body works candle especially when you get it on candle day and you only pay nine dollars for it so these were super good scores for me and then there was this one this one was given to me as a gift i want to say vanessa gave it to me maybe last year for my birthday I think she might have gotten this at H-E-B. It's a Better Homes and Gardens. Mm, that's Walmart, right? I don't know. Does it even say what the scent is for this one? It sure don't. It just says Better Home and Gardens. But it burns all the way to the bottom. But do you see that soot? Look at that. It's just black. And you know that you're putting that into the air and you're breathing that in. And that's one of the reasons why when we change our air filter on our air handler all the time, the two month filter is going one month because of things like that. That looks like this thing caught fire and it sure did not. And you can see all the little times that I relit it, like all the little wick pieces just kept falling off and into it i don't know better homes and gardens i expected something better out of this it was very folly i think this was like a pumpkin spice or like a fall harvest something along those lines it was good on the scent but i don't want to burn something that doesn't burn clean like that so not really happy with this candle at all all right now on to some wallflowers and i have three that are piles because they're multiples. 
So my mom sent me a couple for my birthday, plus I had gotten some, and so I bought one of these, and then she sent me one also, and that's the pumpkin pecan waffles. The notes on this one say maple syrup, golden waffles, and pumpkin spice, and it smells like IHOP. It just, I don't really get a whole lot of pumpkin. I just get the syrup and the waffles and stuff and it literally just smells like breakfast. So I like this one for the kitchen because it just always kind of smells like something's cooking in there. So I really, really like this pumpkin pecan waffles. And then this one, although there's a different one in here, it's still the same concept. So this one is sunshine and lemons and this is the one my mom got me for my birthday. And this one says bright citrus, fresh squeezed lemons, and cane sugar. And it just, I believe that that goes very similar to what the limoncello is. Yeah, bright lemon zest, Sorrento lemons, and cane sugar. So these ones kind of all go in the same, like, pile. And let me be honest with you, if you come a walk with me right here, that's the one that is in this wallflower. I am obsessed with lemon in the bathroom. When I come in here, you would think you'd want it in the kitchen, right? But it's so clean and sweet smelling that it hides the scent of bathroom. Bathroom grosses me out. I do not like the scent of pee and like the water here has an odor because it's so hard. I just don't like the smell of bathroom and these lemon ones do such an amazing job. It's like Febreze. Do you feel like if you spray Febreze in the air, it hides everything? Well, this lemon does a really good job. So if you like wallflowers and you've not tried the lemon, any of the lemon, but lemon gel is my favorite, um, I would try them because they just, they cover, put them in your high traffic areas that you know you want to smell something sweet all the time. And you'll be really surprised at how wonderful that the air always smells. So this is a giant pile of winter candy apple and this says candied apples, crisp pears, and oranges. And I believe it was last year for Christmas or something. My mother-in-law had given me this big jar full. She asked me what I wanted for Christmas and I told her, I don't know, just get me wallflowers. And because that was the only answer that I gave her, she spent like a hundred dollars in wallflowers. And I ended up with like 30 or 40 of them. And I have, I think six or seven wallflower holders. So I go through about six or seven a month. So think about that. Even if you just say seven, that's 96 on the year. So even though she gave me a lot and I always usually have a big stockpile, um, these still don't last very long. So I've been through these candy apple ones probably uh, early fall, late summer were the ones that when I finished these off. Um, but these ones are candied apples, crisp pears, and oranges, and they really do just smell like a winter candy apple. They're not my favorite, but I only like food scents. So when my mother-in-law gets them for me, she only gets me things that are like food. I don't really like the blue ocean wave and all of that. Like, I don't like those ones. If they smell like food, I'm all about it because I'm foodie. So not my favorite, but you can tell that I went through quite a few of them because she gave me like a six pack. So I use them. They still work. They still are good, but they're just, they're not my favorite. Um, and then these are just the few like miscellaneous ones that I have. So here's one of those blue ocean waves. My mom, I think sent this to me. Uh, I was surprised she didn't know better, like not to get this one. Um, oh no, 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 no. When we cleaned out the storage shed, this is one that I gave Paul with a present of his. Like I gave him a wallflower for his house. When he first bought his house, I gave him like a welcome package, like what Vanessa did for me. And in there was a wallflower holder and a wallflower. And I gave him this one, the blue ocean waves, and he never used it. So when we found it in storage, this is the one that's in his room right now. So this says beach breezes, citrus sea spray, and sun drenched wood. He likes it. It's not for me. I don't really do, like I said, those kinds of scents. Um, warm vanilla sugar, I'm like, eh, about, I feel like it's okay. It's just not overwhelming. So the notes on this one say sheer florals, vanilla, absolute, and sandalwood. So you can tell it brings in some, like, outside things like sandalwood and 
sheer florals and those are the kinds of things I don't like so that's probably why this is not my favorite either but when someone gives this to me I am definitely going to use them because like I said I use wallflowers in six seven you know eight different spots throughout the month so I just put the ones that I'm not a huge fan of in the places I don't go often like the bathrooms that aren't mine that kind of thing um, this one is caramel pumpkin swirl I mean it sounds just amazing as it smells just amazing as it sounds the notes are luscious caramel ground cinnamon and creamy vanilla smells amazing like fall like the epitome of fall um this is another one that i absolutely love this is black cherry merlot this one is exquisite if you want a powerful candle it's a dark cherry black raspberry and sumptuous merlot with essential oils and this one is powerful and it smells so good put this in a bathroom and it'll blow your mind every single time you open the door it's so incredible so i love that black cherry merlot and then this one is Perfect Autumn, another one that my mom got me for my birthday. And this one is Fresh Cranberry, a Spiced Pumpkin, and a Crisp Apple. And again, it smells, that apple really comes through and it makes this really smell like, oh, maybe mixed with the cranberry. I don't smell a whole lot of pumpkin in this one. Ah, uh, a little cinnamony, I guess. But the cranberry and the apple really, really smell super good. So I love that one. And then Tahitian coconut. If you guys know me, I love coconut anything. And so this one's really good. It's just light. I do like the wallflowers that are more powerful. And this one says coconut, cooling sea spray, and tonka bean. I don't know what a tonka bean is, but that cooling sea spray, again, that kind of brings in the elements. It's good. It smells really coconutty. It's just not it doesn't cover a whole lot of space because it's not extremely powerful and i like my knock you on your socks kind of wallflowers but all right you guys we're through one more stage of these favorites now on to household products all right you guys last but not least here is a quick overview of the household products that i've used over the last few months and now if you don't see multiples here it's because i'm not going to save you four things of Persil. There's no point of you seeing how much of it I use, just the point of whether or not I like it or not. So a lot of these things like dryer sheets, things that the toilet paper are wrapped in, those kinds of things we've tossed. So I'm sure you can just use your imagination on a family of six on what we go through, but let's get into what I love about these or don't. No. Now I am a Scots girl. This is actually the wrapper to the Scots paper towels. There's usually six that come in here for a pretty reasonable price, like $5 or under that I get it from Walmart. And I use a lot of cleaning cloths, so we don't go through a whole lot of paper towels. It'll probably take me two or three months sometimes to go through a six pack. But I grew up my whole life on Scots, and so I just find that it's what I love the best. It's adorable. It's a absorb it and it doesn't really leave a whole lot of that white yucky powdery stuff that paper towel leaves afterwards like those little fuzzies I feel like this does not do that where Viva I think it is I love the feel of them but they leave like lint everywhere so I don't get that very often um, but the Scott one I love and then I noticed over here that I saved the brandless toilet paper thing to talk about with you but I didn't save the box from the toilet paper from Grove and I didn't save a Scott toilet paper. So we've definitely gone through a Scott's toilet paper uh, over the past few months, probably two or three of them, because if I can get my hands on them, I do. Uh, right now we're working out of a great value dupe of the Scott's, and that is fine. I mean, I like, I prefer one ply toilet paper, so I'm perfectly fine with what we have. Um, but this was something that Grove sent to me for free and it was brandless. And I mentioned it in one of my videos and one of you guys are awesome. You're like super sleuths for me. You go and find out the information that I couldn't find. And it basically just said that Grove was now selling other products. I mean, which they do. They don't just sell Grove. They sell Method and Mrs. Myers and all of that. Well, they started selling brandless like a, just a regular brand. So I thought that was kind of crazy. I didn't know that, but I didn't even pay for this. This bathroom tissue was free from my purchase and there were six rolls in there, but I'm glad that it was for free. I would have been mad if I paid for it because it was awful. I liked Brandless for their food deals. Their $3 
food deals that were amazing. Everything was $3 or less, and I loved it. Uh, they can pass on their bath tissue. It says bio-based, made from sugar cane and bamboo grass, tree-free paper products. But if you're going to do tree-free and bamboo, then get the ones from Grove. Their seedling line is amazing. It's what's on my toilet paper right now in this bathroom, on my toilet paper holder. And I, I really like it. It's the For someone who loves one ply, I love the texture of that toilet paper because it's not one ply, but it's, I just like it. I don't know. I can't explain it, but I'm not a fan of this brandless bath tissue. So don't get that. Speaking of Grove, I would get this though. Uh, I have a whole bunch of hand soaps here, which makes sense because this is a pandemic and we're washing our hands like crazy. So when I shared with you just a couple of soaps in the first part of this, I was like, where are the rest that's not possible? And yes, it makes sense. I found four more. Um, so this is the hydrating hand soap in the apple spice. This is the limited edition one. Same thing that I bought along that line with that candle. That's spice caramel. This one smelled really, really good. And it's one of those refill containers and so I have a glass like reusable hand soap dispenser at our kitchen sink that is from Grove and I just used this to fill it and I got two times of filling that glass dispenser with this package and it smelled really good we used it all fall long so I loved it but again we go through hand soap pretty fast especially right now this was something I did not buy, but it's Lucky Super Soft in Eucalyptus and Mint Revitalizing Hand Soap. This is something that Lauren sent to me. She's like the most amazing friend slash pharmacist. And so whenever I get like my monthly meds or something and she sends the delivery to my house, she always puts something extra in the bag, whether it's candy or cookies that she's baked or something like this. Sometimes she'll just throw a hand sanitizer or a hand soap. She's just, she's freaking amazing. Uh, so she sent this, which is a huge soap, a big mamma jamma, 14 fluid ounces. And I used this in my bathroom and it was good. Um, I guess something you don't pay for is always better than something that you pay for, but I had no complaints. The smell was good. My hands felt clean. I have never seen this brand before, but I was pretty impressed for a brand that I did not know about. Now this is the Method Pink Grapefruit. I know it's probably really hard to see this bottle because it's written in white and it's completely clear, but this is their foaming hand soap, which I love any kind of foaming hand soap. And this pink grapefruit is really, 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 really good. It smells very citrusy, very summery. It smells fresh and clean. And my daughter was obsessed with using this. We went through this one a lot faster than we should have soap wise because Maya just kept squirting it in the bathroom. Um, and then the last one that I have is this Mrs. Myers in the a lilac scent. I wasn't a huge fan of this one. I love Mrs. Myers soap, just not really the lilac. Um, I got this for my husband's purpose because that's his favorite flower. Don't ask me why up in the Anirondack Mountains, he had a lot of lilacs that grew up there and he just loved them. Like I believe it was for our fifth anniversary that I sent a bouquet of lilacs to his job because it's the only man flower that he likes. And I don't even think it's a manly flower, but to him, he loves it. And so that's what I sent him on our anniversary. And so I got this for our bathroom just for him to be able to use a scent that I knew he liked. And he said he loved it. That's the scent he loves. So for him, he really enjoyed it. Eh, it was okay for me. I love all Mrs. Meyer's soap. It was just the scent was like, eh. All right, let's talk about scents that aren't like, eh. Let's talk about scents that are like, mm -hmm. and that's this one. This is the Dawn Ultra Platinum Power Wash Dish Spray in the apple scent. And oh my geez, it is just so, so good. And this power wash stuff works amazing. Like we don't use this as everyday dish soap. Like if I'm doing dishes, I'm using something like this. This is the Mrs. Meyers Peppermint Scented Dish Soap and I just got this in the last Grove haul. No, we did not use all of this. I have one of those soap dispensers at my sink here in the new house downstairs, you know, by the kitchen sink. And so I just was able to empty this entire thing into that. So I figured I would talk about it with you guys because I've used this one all of the time. But this is perfect for when you have a lot of like stuck on grime or dishes that you've either have sat in there and starting to dry out or you have pots and pans that you just cooked with that are starting to dry in the sink, like anything like that, anything heavy duty. You just spray this on there and walk away. 
and you could actually smell it working. Like the whole air fills with this yummy, delicious sour apple scent and you could then start to smell the grease. Like it just eats away at it. It's so, so, so good. And then we'll go ahead and, you know, use clean it up with the regular dish soap and then stick it in the dishwasher. And this peppermint, Mrs. Myers, all the Mrs. Myers dish soaps, in my opinion, do a wonderful job. You're sticking it in the dishwasher anyways. So it's, at least for me, some people don't have a dishwasher and I still think this would work. It cuts the grease, it's clean, it does a really, really good job. All of my hand washing items still get hand washed with this and I have no complaints. But this stuff just smells so, so good. And it doesn't stay on your dishes, so you're not eating on a dish that smells like peppermint. It just makes cleaning enjoyable because the whole air smells like Christmas when you're doing the dishes. And so I really, really like this scent. I just spoke about this with you guys on Grove. And of course, you guys wrote me again and said that these scents are sold out. Um, but I wrote Grove and they said that they're gonna bring them back in again before they close out the season. So just keep checking, you guys, so that you can get your free package with this in it because once you get it you're never going to go back anyways but I know that you'll love this one so this one I really really loved and then this is the mint one that I wanted to share with you guys during that Grove haul because we talked about the other mints that Mrs. Myers has and this is their one that they use during the springtime it just coincidentally happens to be the one that I finished uh, up during the last couple of months as far as cleaning my, cleaning my countertops. At the rental, I used this often to clean my countertops. Now here at this house, I have granite. So now I'm back to using my Method Granite Cleaner, which is my favorite cleaner of all time next to the Almond Wood for Good. So I am excited like just to be able to use these kinds of things on regular surfaces because I got the peppermint one to clean for right now. But this I use, like I said, at the rental and I just love things mint scented. It just smells fresh and clean and you makes cleaning enjoyable. This is just their everyday multi-surface multi spray. So you can put this on anything. Like I said, I used to use this to clean the countertops, but now I just kind of use it to wipe things down like the stove and that kind of stuff. Um, this is another item that I get from Grove and it's their Aunt Fanny's line. I do not believe necessarily that it's Grove's line. It's just exclusive to Grove. I think anyway, I've never seen Aunt Fanny's anywhere else, but this is their glass and window cleaner. It's a vinegar wash. If you can't stand the smell of vinegar, I would not buy this, but this stuff works amazing. Go ahead and stand this up against Windex or any other glass cleaner. I love Myers. I love Method. I love all of them. They do not have good glass cleaners. I've tried them all. This is the best one. This is the same brand where I get those fly trap catchers, the fruit fly um, catchers. I got that and I got something else recently from Aunt Fanny's that I really liked. A washing machine or cleaner. I'm not sure, but I've been kind of dabbling more into this brand and it's really, really good. So again, all of this is gotten off of Grove. So go and check them out. If you are new, uh, I'll slide these guys up to the front forefront because they're in my way and that will allow me to bring this guy over. So scrubby bubbles, you guys. I love this. I love this and I love the can. And this is kind of like my trifecta of cleaning supplies. So I'll either spray down some kind of bathroom spray or something like this gr bathroom grime fighter. Sometimes I'll have just regular cleaner that I'll use or I have a method or a Mrs. Myers like bathroom cleaner that I'll spray the toilet down. But most of the time I'll give it a good spray with the scrubbing bubbles like bathroom grime fighter. And then I use this. This is the Scrubby Bubbles Wand, and these are the flushable refills. Now, a lot of people use the Clorox ones. I just don't like them because they don't flush. And I know some people are all about, like, don't flush anything down the toilet that you're not supposed to, but these say biodegradable. I know they're probably not as amazing and biodegradable, but I don't want to touch something. I don't want to flick it off. I don't want water to go flying. I don't want something sitting in my garbage pail that I just used to clean 
pee and poop off of the toilet. I'm just not interested. I want to clean it and then I want to flush the little thing down the toilet and I want to take a rag and I want to wipe everything down now, all the rims and the sides that I just sprayed this guy on. And then once I'm all done and I know that it's good, I used to spray with Lysol. Now I can't get my hands on any, but I would spray with Lysol and then use this scrubbing bubbles um, little stick guy. So this is, they call it a to toilet cleaning stamp. And after you're done, you take this little guy and you stamp this to the inside of your toilet. You can see right there, they show you like a little stamp on the inside of the lid. And every time you flush, the water goes over the scent. And you can see up top, it says neutralizes odors in the air. And it literally is like a fresh dose of scent in your bathroom every single time that you flush. And I feel like it just hides all the boy scent and it keeps the bathroom smelling good. As you guys see, I'm big on scent. So if it smells crappy or like crap, I'm not interested in it. So I like the things that kind of help make it smell good. So this one's just the original, but now they came out with like a more citrusy kind. And then here's the citrus as well of the cleaning pads. And then this is the citrus of the scrubbing bubbles, but I love all of them. I'm sorry, scrubby bubbles. I will be a ride or die. So my last item before we talk laundry is these Cottonelle wipes, the flushable wipes. Now, right now I'm using the Kirkland brand. That's these right here. I just went and grabbed them off the back of my toilet. These are not empty. There's still some in here, but these are the Kirkland brand, which I really loved. And I got the Kirkland brand for the first time right before the pandemic, or maybe it wasn't the first time, but I had grabbed a big box right before the pandemic hit. And then for months after I couldn't get any of the flushable wipes. And then when I finally could get flushable wipes, I found the Cottonelle. And so I was like, all right, well, beggars can't be choosers, so I will just go with this. They were really good at first, and I was like, you know what? These were a little bit more pricey, and the Kirkland ones, I think, are better. So I don't know, I don't know. I, um, I want my Kirkland ones back, I want my Kirkland ones back. Well, I finally got my hands on the Kirkland ones, and now I kind of miss these. It's, it's weird. Sometimes you're forced to try something, which is why I love mystery boxes and beauty boxes, because you try something out of your comfort zone, and you try and convince yourself, no, 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 I like what I like, but that's not true, because these are definitely quilted and nicer. They're better quality, but they still seem to break down just like the other ones do. And I know everyone has their opinion about things that you flush in the toilet. I just said that I'm not going to not here to debate about it, but whether you flush it, whether you put it in the, in the garbage pail, regardless, whatever, I feel like these are just for the extra dollar or two. I'd rather get these than the Kirkland's. And I can't believe I'm saying that out loud, but it's the truth. And I don't know. I really liked the Cottonelle over the Kirkland. Go figure. All right, now here are laundry products and I'm really surprised that I don't see an empty bottle of vinegar here. Why I didn't save that or maybe it's because there's still a little bit left at the old house and then I started one here since I've been here back and forth doing laundry. So maybe that's why. And again, I won't save a double, but we go through tons of vinegar because I have a system for my laundry that I feel has worked amazing for our family. And I used to be this big Gain supporter. I use Gain for everything. I use their detergent, their fabric softener, the little smelly scented beads, to the dryer sheets, to finding essential oils that smelled close to Gain and putting them on my dryer balls in my dryer. Like I truly was obsessed until I discovered Persil and I love this detergent. It really changed me and I really only like the Purple Deep Clean. But when I do my laundry and I'll attach a laundry video up in the iCards if you guys want to see how I actually do my routine. But I start off with the Method Fabric Softener. I really truly love this fabric softener. I did get the seventh generation one from a Grove one time because this scent was sold out. Method has two. They have this one and a Blue Sage. I'm just not a fan of the blue one. Again, that's like that 
outside, outdoorsy scents. I don't really like that. This is ginger mango. That's more up my alley. But this one is a no scent. It was a free and clear, so it's good for someone if you have babies or allergies or anything. And so because it had no scent and it did a good job still making my clothes soft, I would still purchase this one because there's no complaints. I don't have to worry about scent. It did a good job. It was, you know, still a safer product. It was HE and I got a lot of usage out of it. So I would still use this one, but my regular laundry routine, if I could have it my way, would be this method of fabric softener in the ginger mango. And then I use the Persil Intense Fresh Deep Clean. And then in the cup, I also pour one cup of white vinegar and then I toss the whole cup into the machine. And then I use the Clorox too for colors just because I really love you know, to keep the vibrancy of the clothes that we do have. And so we'll put this in, and then if it's white, I obviously won't do the Clorox. I'll do a regular bleach. And I've switched over to regular bleach now, not the low splash, because I didn't know until recently that what they use to make it low splash makes it non-sanitizing. And so I now switched back over to regular ble bleach, which I hate because I spill it all over my clothes and I ruin all of my clothes, but that's my own problem. Um, I switched back to plain old regular bleach and this is one that we just happened to pick up from the Dollar General while we were there. It was like a stupid sale, like 50 cents or something for this and it was concentrated so it lasted a while. But if it were whites, I would use a regular bleach, but then that's it. So that's my little system. The fabric softener, then the white vinegar, then the Persil, then the Clorox too. Like those are the four things that I put in the machine or the white regular bleach. And then once the clothes are all done, then I really love the method dryer sheets. It took me a little while to get used to them. Used to them. Like I did use the seventh generation one and I didn't like them. They were like brown pieces of paper and they just weren't a, a good dryer sheet. This is also a piece of paper, but it's white and it's different and it's compostable and it still helps to reduce static. It's that same ginger mango scent. So all these things just kind of tie together. And for me, that's like my perfect laundry combination. Now, when we were going through the storage shed, we found a bunch of things like this all oxy. This was another thing that I put in Paul's like welcome to your house gift bag kind of thing and it was something free that I just got couponing and I would never use this. So I gave him the all stain lifting oxy and then I also got him the oxy clean laundry stain remover. So once we went to the storage shed and we found them, we just took them out and we've been using them because, you know, why not? So we went through all of those things, the all, the oxy clean and then all of that and then I shared with you guys this. So that was my laundry products, but you guys, we are done. All right, you guys, so that's it for today's Vlogmas video. Are you exhausted? Because I know that I am. Now I would have added a little bit more like regular vlog footage to this video, but I know that these videos always get super long. I've in the past broken them up and did just one that was candle reviews, just one that was household, and just one that was beauty, but I just don't have time this year to structure it like that this way. So like I said, I know it was a super long winded video, but I love reviewing these products with you and I hope that I I've changed your mind or I've given you inspiration to try one of these products, especially Bellway, you guys. I really am passionate about what it's doing for my body and it was an honor to review their product for them. I love that they let me try it first before I was willing to say how I felt about it and I, I can feel a change in my body and right now, that's what I'm excited about is a little bit of a change. So thank you guys again so much for watching this video. Thank you for Bellway for sponsoring today's video. And don't forget to go into the description box and check out all of Bellway's information, the coupon codes, and all that good stuff. I love you guys so much. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye guys.